What's going on guys, DeMar Field here back again with another video. My apologies once again guys for the long delay in between videos, that's all on me. I'm gonna get right to it guys. We're less than 200 away from 5,000 subscribers, so if you guys can, if you guys feel it's worth it, please help me out, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, leave me a like, comment, all those things guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys some of the mods that I am currently using. Now, one that I have in the works, I just picked this up yesterday at my local Cosmo Prop. You guys have seen this, this has been around for a while. This is the FX3 trimmer, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the mod from Filthy Mods. That way we can actually put on the original gold FX blade and this thing is supposed to be a beast. So we'll get to that one as soon as those parts come in. The next one that I have guys is gonna be your fast feed blade guys on the good old reliable magic clip but the particular mod that i'm going to take apart here and show you guys works with the senior and the magic clips and i just happen to have an old magic clip in the drawer still power clip still on it all right so of course two little screws here in the back of your blade the kit that i bought from filthy came with the bracket that's got the two inside screw holes that fit your uh, your fast feed blade and then it came which is the big portion of it, or the big part of it, is the actual cam follower. Now, I'm gonna take this off here real quick. We're just gonna take a screwdriver, pop that, pop that out real quick, because there's a lot of tension on it. Obviously, anytime you take anything apart, guys, anytime you take something apart, please clean it. There's no reason not to. All right, so I'll show you the difference here, guys. This is your stock, your stock cam. Comes with the diamond piece here in the middle. That is to fit your the center of your wall blades and stuff like that, uh, babbless blades. It just pops right in there, just like that. Okay, now the difference is, if you want to use the actual fast feed cutting blade, as you guys can tell, it doesn't have the diamond, it's got the piece cut out here in the middle. So, what this cam did was it's set up like the cam on your fast feed. It's got the little notch there I can turn it maybe where you guys can see that. It's got that little notch right there. And basically what you're gonna do is slide your cam in there. Just make sure it's snapped secure in the back there. Cause there's the two springs. Two springs have two slots on each side of the cam. One on this side, one on this side. You're gonna feed those back in there correctly. Snap that cam back into place. Hold tension down on your blade. And would you know it, drop a screw. Now you don't have to tighten it down all the way, you just want to get it tightened enough to where you can still kind of move the blade around. And we're going to, I mean, we're not gonna completely zero gap it, but we are going to get it pretty close. Now you can tighten it down. Now what I like to do guys, is pull the sleeve up, tap it on the arm. If I can have it all the way closed, tap it on my arm here. You know, just in case you ever wanna do anything up underneath the neck, uh, that's, that's the way I judge whether or not it is over gapped or you have room that you can go up with it. This is Magic Clip with the fast feed cutting blade and the fast feed, uh, what is that, Cro uh, Chronic, Chronics blade. I ordered this. We've got your X Ergo. I have the Fusion blade, which I think is a must on every barber station, honestly. Deep tooth cutting blade and then the stretch bracket. So this thing opens way up. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell or not. But this thing opens way, way up. So this thing is a must. Uh, oh my gosh. Man down. Holy smokes, guys. That's a good way to drop an iPhone 13. New toolboxes. Um, picked these up at Lowe's. I believe we got them on sale for like 375 plus tax maybe. Uh, so much better than the stations that we were using. No offense to the guys that still have them. Um, nine drawers 
The top one just has so much room. As you guys can tell, I like gum. I like to have my options. Uh, but then so many different smaller drawers, guys. Bottom drawers, really good for towels, capes, and stuff like that. Way better as far as storage goes. Still rocking with the blue power mat. Uh, I do have power clips on everything right now. Some I have dumb stuff that I've picked up, whatever. I don't know if you guys are like me. I pick up dumb stuff all the time. Uh, instead of canned air, I'm trying to use... Trying to use one of these cordless little blowers. It does the same. And then I saw, uh, I saw our guy, Marv, using one of these. Hold it down, it comes on, you tap it once, it pauses. So if you're in the middle of something, you don't have to, you know, like the, the funny thing with me is uh, I find myself with, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll pump it one too many times and then you'll sit there for two or three seconds waiting for it to go off thinking, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. And it won't ever go off. Well, with this one, you can just literally just tap the, tap the button one time, it'll pause. Uh, you guys already seen it. I believe I've done a video on it, or at least I've talked about it. Um, the Oster Volt instead of the Oster Octane it was a lot cheaper than the actual Octane was. Uh, so that's something for your detachables if you want to cool. surf, uh Surf Tonic. I mean, in my hair right now, nothing. I washed it out with water just a little bit ago, sprayed that in there, took the diffuser attachment on the Dyson and just worked it until it was completely dry. And so, I mean, you boy looks like you got a perm, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, guys, whatever, this isn't about me. Smash that like button, subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. Guys, help me out. I'm gonna get some clips of using the FX3. I did Here's some clipper over comb using the fast speed mod as far as i can tell guys in the little bit of time that i have been able to use them i haven't had any issues with them bogging down or getting uh getting snagged in, in coarse thick hair obviously this is asian hair so it's going to be pretty coarse it's going to be pretty thick i didn't have any issues at all and then of course with the fx3s here i am i can't even express how lightly i'm trying to tap this line in and this thing is just throwing out straight lasers I mean, it is, I mean, as soon as it touches the hair, gone. And so, pretty impressed with this so far. This is with the stock FX3 blade. That's why I'm being really gentle with it. I don't want to take the chance of, even though I have backed them out, I don't want to take the chance of them being too sharp. And then, of course, you guys can see how close that that is balding out. Here's just a quick clip of the open section with that fast feed mod. Such a good open section, guys. Sets up for a nice fade. All right, guys. So just came in on my day off. Got the package in from Filthy. Here is the piece that we're looking for. This is going to replace the stock black piece. This is going to allow us to do the go to FX blade. Go ahead. Take these all the way off. It literally just sits down in there like that. Okay. It literally just sits down in there like this. This whole base part right here, this whole gold part, you're just gonna sit down in there. And then you're going to just tighten her down. It's a very, very, very simple mod. But pretty inexpensive, guys. I mean, I think. With shipping, tax shipping, I think like $18. Uh, and there you have it, guys. It's literally quiet as can be, guys. With this piece on here, your standard uh, FX blade setter, it's not going to work. So you're just going to have to eyeball it. We're going to work it all the way up to where they're pretty much flush. And then slowly find a nice little background that drop you can look at i like to put two fingers on top here so that both sides of the blade are, are pressed down yeah, so that's about as close as i can get as close as i feel comfortable getting it and i love it for this thing all right guys so this is an open three and this is on the monster clipper uh, I'm not even going to do a review on, any, on that or anything, guys. It's just an extra clipper that was laying around. 
Um, I don't have an Alpha or a Rebel. This is apparently supposed to be similar to one of those. But basically, what this mod is, this is the um, this is the Andy's Master cutting blade and the Andy's Master steel blade. It was one of the mods that Filthy sent whenever he sent me the FX3 mod. So this is something that I threw together um, after talking to him and figuring out what was uh, in the package that he sent. And um, this thing here is also just like the fast feed mod. This thing is cutting so good and so clean. This is obviously some thick hair as well. And this is an open three guard with the purple guard set. And it's just blowing through there. Now this is the FX3 after changing it out to the actual uh, FX blade. And this is the this is the very original gold blade. And you guys can tell, I mean, you'll see here in a second once we do this and then the line down the back. I mean, this is almost like you painted these lines on. If you all want to see this tutorial in its entirety, make sure you stick around to next week's video. That's when I'll be dropping it. This is going to have, like I said, the Monster Clipper with the mod allowing me to use the Andy's Master Cutting and Steel Blade, as well as I switched over the FX3 with the original FX blade. So make sure you guys hit me up, like, comment, subscribe. Please guys, we are less than 150 away from 5K, so that 5K video will be coming up very soon, and I promise I'll make it worth it for all you guys. Until the next video, guys, I appreciate y'all, I love y'all. Barbara Phil, I'm out.